Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dilio T2K. We're gonna do some more tutorials and stuff like that. Today is the day before Halo 3 comes out. I'm still mad because I don't have my Xbox 360. Uh, which obviously means I'm not going to get the game, which means I'm not going to be able to shoot people with a shotgun and make them mad at me for the rest of the night. But that's okay because I still got my music, which makes me make the money so I can get another Xbox 360. But it's car payments. Whew. Anyway, real talk. All right. Uh, today's tutorial, what we're going to do is talk about um, how to get the microphone to show up on, you know, on uh, Free Loops. So let's go into it, okay? I got my microphone going, and uh, it might not play accurately because I'm doing screen capture uh, while I'm getting audio for this uh, tutorial. So what we want to do is go to the mixer, okay? You got the mixer out. Okay, now on this mixer you have master, insert one, insert two, insert three, insert four. Let's go to insert 16. I like to use insert 16 because it's separate from everything else, you know? So let's go at insert 16. Now on insert 16, uh, you have options like in, in, and then you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 8, EQ, and what those things are right there is just that the 1 through 8 is our effects, but the key thing you want to focus on is in. Now it doesn't show down the drop menu that you get when you click on in. In should say none. Now if you have the, your sound card properly set up, um, then you will have a drop down menu that will drop down. But if your sound card is not properly set up, then you won't have any options on this end, which has a drop-down menu. Now it's not going to show it on video capture unless somebody can help me out, show me a better video capture program, so that I can do better tutorials. Uh, please share the information with me. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I click on the end, I click on the drop-down menu, and I select the input, the analog input that this microphone is going to. Now everybody has. A sound card like me. Therefore, not everybody's going to have the same FireWire 14 analog input like I do. Uh, whatever that the input is labeled on your sound card is what you should see there. Now, you should hear like an echo. Um, you shouldn't be hearing this, but again, I am doing a video capture at the same time while I am using this. Okay? So, let's, let's go ahead and go to insert 16, click on the input. And now you should see level, level, level. You should see level being recorded. Now what you're hearing is a slap back delay. Again, my computer is working double time because I am recording a screen capture while doing this. But now you see that I'm recording audio. And you can see the levels move. Note that I did not do it on 16. The reason you don't want to record R on 16 or set that input on 16, well, on the master, the reason you don't want to do it on the master is because that's where everything goes at. And if you record the master, you're going to record everything. And that's not what you want to do. Because you have bounce down and render options for that. So let's go to answer 16. Okay, we see level there. And what I'm going to do is go into pattern mode. Well, not pattern mode, but song mode. I click song mode and I have this drive here. Now I hit record right there. I see that light light up right there. So I armed it and I click play. Testing. One, two, three, testing. And I stop it. And now when I play it back, after disabling the input on, in, on insert 60, we'll play it back and see what happens. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Testing. As you can see, I have an audio clip here that I just recorded. And that's basically a simple way of how to get audio into your session. Now, I don't want to spoon feed everything because I want you to take some time to figure things out for yourself so that it really sticks to your memory. This is kind of like a really rough thing there. But you see, I got uh, an audio clip here. And uh, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Again, disclaimer, I do not have auto-tune for sale. I cannot, I don't know how much it costs. It costs different in every place, alright? I do not give away auto-tune. I bought it, okay? I bought it. I bought Free Loops online back in the day. I bought it back in 2001 when it was 3 point something. So, I do not have auto-tune and I cannot do one-on-one -on -one consultations on this stuff. I just don't have the time. You see, I'm barely making tutorials anymore because I'm trying to work and I'm hustling too. I got a wood quarter maybe too. I'm not no big celebrity yet, 
Not that I'm really trying to be because I choke on But I do win like the money though. But uh, that's a whole nother thing. So please, if you like this tutorial, uh, hit me up on the comments. Or if you really like the music, please check out my music at MySpace slash Dilio Lenari. There's a link on my profile page. Please check out the Snowcap store there and check out the songs that I have for sale there. I'm going to be doing putting on some more up there pretty soon. Um, just please check it out. Please support. I really appreciate all you guys. Hope this helps you with recording audio. If you have more questions, don't email me on Yahoo or on YouTube. Hit a comment on there. Maybe somebody else might have an answer for you on those comments, you know. If I'm the only one that can see them, you know, I'm being busy and I'm not going to be able to see everything. So, I hope that helps right there with your... Uh, free loops using, and you know what I'm saying, and maybe I might start talking a little bit of Pro Tools, but it depends how much support I get. <laughs> but um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and you guys have a good one. Peace and enjoy Halo 3, because I know I will once I get my freaking Xbox 360. Okay, then, take care.